Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today we're making this adorable little gift box and I'm using some beautiful flowers and products from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'm also using this ice cream parlor paper pack, 12 by 12 pack that I got from Hobby Lobby by the Paper Studio. And I'm using a Lori Whitlock SVG cut file that I got from her website and it is a 3D box. I will link it below in the description box. I used my Silhouette Cameo to cut it out. You don't have to use a die cutting machine to cut them out. You can print them out and cut them by hand, but it is much easier to cut with a die cutting machine. I They do come with score marks, but I like to add my own score marks in. So I'm just um, using my Martha Stewart scoreboard and marking the lines where the folds are going to go. And once I've got those all marked, I'm going to use my Teflon bone folder and give them a good crease. This little gift box can hold not quite um, A2 sized cards. The box when it's finished is six and a quarter by four by one. And of course you can size it down a little bit smaller if you wanted to. So it would hold a little bit smaller than A2 sized cards if you wanted to put a set of cards and envelopes in them. I'm putting a little candy bar today. It's just a little thank you for somebody that gave me a, a gift, a sweet gift. So. I'm using my Fabri-Tac Beacon Glue. You can use any type of tape runner that you want or whatever type of glue you, you like to use. I like to use wet adhesive because I can move it around and make sure that it's adhered perfectly before it dries. So I'm adding one of my favorite candy bars and just wrapping it with a little bit of tissue paper. Just wrapping it just like you would a present. Cutting off any excess tissue paper so it's not too bulky and then add, adhering it down with some scotch tape. And at the very end, I do add a little thank you card to the inside of that, which I'll show at the end of the video here. So I'm just making sure I'm happy with my box and that it's all creased perfectly. I'm using a gray piece of cardstock uh, by Recollections and wrapping it around. That comes with the cut file. I'm going to use my hot glue because I like that it adheres immediately. So I'll just press that into place. And these two little labels also come in the cut file. I printed out just for you and added a couple little hearts to the front of it, to the little banner. And behind the banner, I'm adding some chipboard because I wanted it slightly dimensional. Again, using my Fabri-Tac, I'm adhering that down right to the center of the box, but I do end up pulling that off and moving it to the right slightly for uh, a little place for my flowers. So I'm using this beautiful Divine Baker's Twine from Wild Orchid Crafts and wrapping that around a couple times, tying it in a bow. Again, I'll have all the products list down in the description box. I hope you stop by and check them out. So I'm just cutting off the excess of that. And then there is where I peeled it up, which I knew it would rip the paper underneath, but I wasn't worried about it because I was adhering it right back over that. and the flowers on the left. So if any of it ripped on the left, you wouldn't see that either. Now I'm pulling out some white chrysanthemums. Those are one of my most favorites, along with the um, gorgeous baby pink center wild roses. I'm also going to add a few of the pink mist open roses here. And now I'm going to tuck in a few leaves here and there. Their leaves come in several different sizes. I believe these are the 30 millimeter leaves. And then to finish off the outside of my box, I'm going to use two different Nouveau Crystal Drops in liquid mercury and because it ties them with the gray and then also my favorite which are the white and I should have um oh and I'm sorry here I'm also adding some hip rosebuds which I love both in pink and ivory just kind of tucking a few here and there um, back to the Crystal Nouveau drops. I really should have let them dry before reopening the box and adding my thank you card but it was kind of a last minute idea to do so I just made a, a three by three thank you card, which with the matching paper, that same striped gray paper and added it inside the box. And when I was done, I did put a little bit of this scotch 
tape just to make sure it's held down perfectly. You don't even see it, but it, it's going to hold the box closed perfectly. So that's really all there was to it. I hope you enjoyed this project today. Stop by Wild Orchid Crafts. They have such amazing products. And check the description box for more information. Thanks so much for watching.